On tonight's episode of Obscured Reality, join us as we light a match and see if we spontaneously combust. Let's take an in-depth look at spontaneous human combustion and see what it's all about. Is it SHC myth or is it fact? Let's take a look and find out. Sit down, sit back, relax, and join us on our journey through Obscured Reality. Welcome to another episode of Obscured Reality. Join your hosts, Mark and Stephanie, as they take you through a journey of the extraordinary, bizarre, and often frightening world of the unknown. Explore topics of the paranormal, UFOs, alien abduction, lost civilizations, mythical monsters, and other unexplained mysteries. Come along with us as we transcend into another dimension of obscured reality. Welcome back to Obscured Reality. We are back. Mark and Stevie, how's it going? Pretty darn good. <laughs> That's good to hear? Yep. Yes. Today was my <laughs> uh, work week Friday and yeah. off tomorrow, so pretty happy. Sweet. Yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yes. Nothing wrong with that. I'm no. Wish I was off tomorrow, hmm. kids. <laughs> well, I hear... child free life. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, well, I, I, hear... I have six animals, so I guess it's not really child free. Yeah, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. I hear you have a story for us tonight. I do. <laughs> I do. Now, what you got? Uh, so. Have you ever heard of an anime called Fire Force? Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully a couple of our subscribers have heard of Fire Force. The, the uh, only thing I've heard with anime is the word anime. Oh, that is fair. <laughs> I know nothing. Okay. Uh, well, there is a particular uh, human... What's the best word for it? Uh, condition... That there are uh, people in this uh, anime obtain, and it is up to the a group of people called literally the Fire Force, hence the name of the show, to okay. like basically defeat these like uh, ghouls that are on mm-hmm. fire. Uh, so, without trying to hint around too much, as, as, as it's going to be spontaneous human combustion tonight. Okay. Uh, hmm. So. If this interests you and you have and you are trying to get into anime, that would honestly be a really good one because there's no like sappy little love story that goes along with it. Not for me. Yeah. No. No. (laughs) Well, ten percent you, ninety percent them. Uh, But no, great anime. There's a lot of. It's amazingly drawn. It's a really good like story. And if you are are things spontaneous human combustion is interesting, you're gonna like that because that's literally what happens to people. They burst into flames and become essentially like fire ghouls uh infernos so with that being said obviously tonight is on spontaneous human combustion and the myth and lore and possible science surrounding it so interesting is it Mm -hmm. a real thing that's up to you to decide i'm just gonna present you with the facts and you tell me how you feel about it when i'm done Okay, I, right. I just typed it in, and I'm looking at mm-hmm. some stuff, and I'm like, "Well, it reads as if it's true, but mm-hmm. it also reads as if if it's not, it's true, but they don't know shit about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of weird." Yeah, it's considered a pseudoscience technically. Um, let's see, man. Yeah, I had to. I forgot I'm blind, and I was putting all my notes in like close to my computer screen, and so it was in a smaller font. And when I sat down in my chair, I was like. <laughs> hey uh yeah so make that stuff bigger uh yeah i had to i was like last minute adjustments <laughs> so anyways uh spontaneous human combustion uh is obviously pseudoscience it's the concept of spontaneous combustion of a living or recently deceased human body without an apparent external source of ignition um over the centuries there's been roughly 200 cases of uh like 
known or accused cases of okay i'm just gonna call it s uh shc spontaneous human combustion mm. okay so uh, the first actual like recorded instance of this was all the way back in i want to say 14 oh no yeah, 1460, but it wasn't actually like recorded wow. until the 1600s. Uh, the first time it was actually like coined as spontaneous human combustion, though, wasn't until like 1744. So there's been a, like there was a couple of instances of which this happened, but they had just used um, like different phrasing for it. But the term, right. as we know it, comes about from uh, an article from like I said, 1744 called "The Philosophical Transactions." Um, in 1823, a book was published, uh, The Medical Jur- Jurisprecedence, uh, which stated, like, basically the common themes among all the cases in which had been presented up until that point. Um, namely, the victims are all chronic alcoholics. Uh, they are usually elderly females. The body oh. has uh, not burned uh, spontaneously, but some lighted substance has come into contact with it. Now, that goes against, obviously, what is now said about it, but this was based on what was said in 1823. Well, well so so mm-hmm. they, they probably say that because technically that's not spontaneous, but... Mm-hmm. I think if, they also say that there is a lighted <sighs> source just because they want to sound like this is a well, factual thing and like not make it sound as paranormal as it had it, been it, put up into that point. It almost sounds like, because you mentioned alcohol, and I'm not surprised, probably alcoholism, someone who's mm-hmm. drinking a lot, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kind of like what I'm picturing is probably someone that's obese as well and very heavy drinker, not just alcoholic, mm-hmm. like a six-pack every night. I mean, like a ton, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they're probably obese. And And I think about what's coming out of their pores and then I wonder, because obviously if you take a match, a lighter, anything with a flame, put it up to your mm-hmm. skin, it doesn't just light on fire. It doesn't work like that. Right. However, exactly. uh, <laughs> I mean, seriously, we've all heard of the blue flame, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Who, who's tried mm-hmm. that in high school where you fart, basically, you <laughs> bend over, spread the cheeks, <laughs> keep your underwear on because you got your friends mm-hmm. around, you rip one. You have a lighter lit right by your <laughs> hole, and it actually works. It's true, it, right? It so does. It, I've, I've seen it. There is and gas I've coming been out. i surprised. <laughs> yeah. So there is gas coming out, right? Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised if you mm-hmm. have someone that's obese. You think of everything inside kind mm-hmm. of pushing out and fat and all that mm-hmm. and alcohol and not saying that it's alcohol coming out, but it could create some type of thing. I mean, if you right. think about it, also along that line. Um, there's people who've been pulled over by police uh, for yeah, going a little bit over the speed limit, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, we all know the typical thing cops do um, to try and get you to admit to something is, oh, I smell alcohol. You've been drinking? Even when they don't, right? And, yeah. Um, Baiting, However, yeah. there are real reported cases where it's actually happened, where they've smelled alcohol and person's like i don't even drink and there is Mm -hmm. an actual condition Mm -hmm. that causes that to happen Mm -hmm. so i i wouldn't be surprised if if you could have something coming out of your pores and i i I couldn't imagine you you just explode into flames with an ignition source but i could see a tendency to maybe light on fire way more quickly (laughs) so We'll get to that. Uh, that <laughs> is something that does come up. Um, okay. Some other commonalities of everything. Uh, <laughs> not the blue flame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, is that the body... Like Oh, sorry. So the hands and feet usually fall off. Now, it is extremely common in pretty much all cases of spontaneous human combustion is that the legs are untouched. They are literally just a fresh pair of legs chilling there next to a completely cremated body. Now, mm. the combustion usually also uh, is 
contained only to the body and not to the areas around it. Uh, so there have been reports of like melted TV screens and like melted plastic objects it, around it, but not is this like peeled paint or like burned. It, it, it's it's a fire, yes, but it, it should have spread to other areas. But it looks like it was contained, not harming things around it. Is this thing with the legs? Is that on every case or just like damn near a majority? Damn near every case. So so not every case, but the majority, right? The majority, yes. Okay. It makes me think that usually people are fucking around with fire with their hands, right? Because we have thumbs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you have that condition, you get too close, whatever, boom. So mm-hmm. if there is yeah. something flammable coming out of you, some type of gas, mm-hmm. it would make sense that if you spontaneously combusted around the area that you got mm-hmm. the flame close to your skin, that maybe you know it's using that up Mm -hmm. and maybe that's why i don't know you you Mm -hmm. also look at blood circulation yeah true you know Uh, but the body is also 70 percent water so just keep that in mind so uh there's we'll get to that that, though we'll get to that (laughs) trust me this part that part's coming um another thing is that uh the combustion of the body usually leaves a greasy residue throughout the house and smells pretty darn bad apparently um alcoholism was a common theme in the early shc literary references uh so there are references both uh in literary works like i believe charles dickens and also like in medical uh i guess research so it was really popular around the victorian time like era like apparently there was more reported uh happenings of this during the uh, 18th and 19th centuries uh, so the, some of the Victorian era <clears throat> physicians uh, and writers believed like, it was caused by alcoholism, as you know you had agreed with. Um, but here's the thing: <laughs> bodies have to be cremated at three thousand degrees Fahrenheit for three to four hours. Yeah, you got to get them bones down, and you still are left exactly. with fragments. Exactly. So. It's and that, it it's, see, that's kind of weird, though. Now that you know that it, uh, the body requires 3,000 degrees for a couple of hours, anything uh, around it should have been uh, incinerated uh, with it. But the fact that a fire of 3,000 degrees that to basically cremate somebody's body would also leave the legs untouched, sometimes the hands, shrink some skulls. I'll get to that part. And also uh, just not burn down the rest of the well, building. It- the, the 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 portion the, of the upper body that's getting burned mm-hmm. is it you 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 use the word cremated is it actually mm-hmm. being yes. cremated like just disintegrated yes. everything's gone yes. including bone uh there are fragments of bones and uh sometimes a skull but it but is not cremated whole, but not whole bones not whole bones correct cremated what yes it sounds I... like an implosion uh, yes. A lot of things imploding lately. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Uh, I, I'm funny. so glad you went there because there was actually that phrase used in some of the uh, uh, articles I was reading, and I was like, <laughs> um, "Yeah." Hey. So, like I was saying, like I was correct. The first case of spontaneous human combustion actually was recorded in Milan, Italy, in about 1475. So I was approximately correct. Uh, okay. It was a knight named Polonius Vorsteris. Uh, apparently he had consumed quote two ladles I don't know how much a ladle in old time was because I know a butt ton is a legitimate like measurement of fluid of wine particularly <laughs> so like late, look it up a butt I ton swear, of diarrhea a butt ton of wine is literally a thing or is a beer either way a butt ton was a real thing so I'm, I'm, I don't know how much two ladles would have been I'm assuming huh. not much, but whatever. Apparently, it was like really strong wine. He had two ladles, uh, and it, agree- it disagreed with him. Uh, people stated that he immediately began vomiting flames and then burst into flames entirely. What? Yes, no. but this is also from the uh, 1400s. So I mean, there yeah, and it was also from drunk. Italy. So there could have been uh, exaggerated. It could have been translated wrong, or it could have just been like a miscommunication of could like have been. old language into new language. So yeah, there's could always have been. Shit. with with that much time behind it. That one, I'm like, mm, all right, a little bit skeptical of simply because <laughs> of language differences and how language has progressed over the centuries. Right. Um. So. 
another notable case was back in the 1700s, so a little bit more recent. Each one I'm going to talk about is a little bit more and more recent. This right. one, however, uh, happened to a countess, Cornelia Bandy. Uh, she suffered uh, a similar fate in the summer of 1745. Uh, she was found halfway between her bed and her window as if she was going to open her window because uh, some are hot, stuffy in castles. Oh, God, so horrible. Uh, and so everything except for her lower legs and three fingers cremated, burned, gone. Sounds like she got um, hit by lightning. Jesus. But inside of her room with closed windows? No, I mean, obviously she didn't. Yeah. But... Yeah. Like, that's just the only thing that comes to mind. That, mm-hmm. And that doesn't even do that. Yep. You know, so like, what? it was even stated that in her case, there were three window, uh, three, not three windows, uh, <clears throat> candles, three candles in her room that had been burnt, but it was just the tallow that burned, not the wicks. So the wicks were just left completely unburned and soot was covering the room. Huh. In 1885, uh, Matilda Rooney died in her kitchen, and only her feet were left. Her husband also died. Uh, However, he was found uh, deceased in another part of the house from smoke inhalation. But again, the fire that cremated uh, Miss Matilda also did not spread to the rest of the kitchen and remained just in her immediate area. Is what the fuck? You can't. Yes. What? Yes. Oh, I have I am more. Confused as shit because. Oh, I have more. <laughs> you need a you need an ignition source, right? Mm. And there's well, nothing in our bodies yeah. that do that. Like, could there? Mm. What is the possibility that you could have an actual some type of chemical mixture reaction inside your body that just ignites? I will answer that in a you little know? bit. Like that's I, a have, only I have answers. I have answers. So I'm gonna, I'm just going through like a couple of really notable yeah. things because it is very interesting. All the different like people, like because it's not just one group of people, and it's not just one like region specific. This has happened literally all over the world. There has been reports from like Pakistan yeah. all the way, obviously, to here in America. Uh, well, SHC the, doesn't SHC doesn't discriminate. No. <laughs> Clear. Not at all. <laughs> it is the silent killer. Huh. Sorry. Um, so well. actually, there is a really famous case of a woman called the Cinder Woman. Uh, you might know of her by that name. Properly uh, named. Properly named the Cinder Woman, yes. Uh, her name okay. is Mary Resser of St. <clears throat> Pete, Florida. So in 1951, uh, she was found cremated except for her left foot that was perfectly intact, including her black satin shoe that was still on her foot now the only thing that was found of her were parts of her spine and her skull oddly enough her skull had shrunk now what well yes now this is not the only well, case in on, which it, on, yeah, 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 how, yeah how do they know uh-huh. her skull shrink like did someone measure yeah. it before it was smaller than uh, someone who was the known recorded size of her. Like, so you know how you have your your health records. She was a particular height, and the skull, okay, based whoa, on its like whoa, circumference, whoa. was, was smaller this? than. Uh, what this year? was 1951. Now okay. that's not the only time a skull has been shrunk by <clears throat> SCH or SHC. My bad. Uh, George Mott, who lived in New York in 1986. This happened literally less than a month before I was born. Crazy enough. Uh, He was a retired firefighter, and he was found cremated in his home. uh, The house was completely brown on the inside from the smoke from his body, but the fire, once again, only affected his body in the immediate areas. His oxygen mask that he had to wear in order to breathe because he had breathing problems was still pumping oxygen. Now, they always say keep flames away from oxygen tanks because of risk of them exploding. Of course. So, okay, I'm interesting. Finding a, I'm finding a problem already mm. that I don't like. Um, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, I don't know what you might call coincidences 
Yeah. Oh, a firefighter spontaneously combusted. A woman named Cinder. No, well, she's called the Cinder Woman. Her name is actually uh, Mary. Wait, what is it? Mary Resser. But they call her the Cinder Woman because she was found in literal cinders. Like okay, her she was Good. ashes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. all, most recent one was actually in 2010. Shut up. In I- no, nope. I shit you not. 2010 oh, don't in Ireland. Don't say Ireland. Yes. Oh, well, Jesus Christ, alcohol definitely plays a role in this. Well, no, here's the thing. This is the <laughs> only recorded instance of it in Ireland, ever. It was here in 2010. Whoa. And it was a 76-year-old man who was found cremated in his home. Again, house untouched by what should have been a house fire by, a lo- by what the local firefighters say. It is the only time the coroner of that area has even, like, been he got a lot of flack for it. It said like, yeah, uh SHC guys, like I have no other answer for you. Like he didn't want to put down an unknown, I guess. And so that's right. what he went with because it just fit all the criteria of every other case. So but yeah, were also, but anyways. Well, no, keep going. But I just wanted to point out that two of those cases I had talked about, New York and uh Florida, <clears throat> uh Miss mm-hmm. Resser and Mr. Mott had shrunken skulls. Now, that's not something that normally happens when a body is cremated. Uh, uh-huh. Usually, the skulls will either expand or explode. Okay, which I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause you real quick. Mm-hmm. I have a question for you. Yeah. The dude, Michael Faraday from Ireland, did you have anything else on him? Go ahead, because I just had a short blip on him. <clears throat> There were two children from the same family who were tragically burned to death in different places at the same time. What? The evidence showed that although the coincidence seemed strange, the children both loved to play with fire and had been whipped for this behavior in the past. Looking at all evidence, coroner and jury ruled that these were both accidental deaths. Now, that's the these two kids, but... Coincidence really again. It, it happened at the <laughs> same time. There's actually a guy who survived um, his spontaneous human combustion. Apparently, he's the only one who's ever survived it. Um, he he said that there was like he exploded in flames, and he had flames coming out of his stomach. It was, like, it was really interesting. I didn't what? read too much into that. Um, just I just was like, mm, I. Just based on everything else that I've read about this possibility, I just don't feel like someone's going to be like, oh, I'm on, I'm on fire. Like, everyone else has not survived it. What makes you so special that you're going to survive it out of X amount of well, possible cases? It doesn't just, mean it's not possible, right? True, I mean, but who knows? I, I have the same kind of uh, feeling about that guy as I do about the guy who says he's the most recent St. Germain, but... <laughs> Well, we'll just call him the Bob Lazar of SHC. Well, yes, that works <laughs> perfectly. Um, I'd love so, to hear his story and see see what he if he has some, <laughs> what he really does have to say on this um, mm-hmm. on what his description of what happened. You know, mm-hmm. so it's interesting. Now, let's talk about what the scientific community has to say about all this. And this is getting uh, into a couple a of the things that you had touched on. Yeah. Um, okay. So they definitely believe that there, that there is an outside source of obviously ignition yes. that somehow gets burned up with the fire, but they also feel like the wick effect is why it just burns through the body and doesn't burn through anything else. The wick effect is essentially that uh, your internal fluids get turned into gas uh, and help melt your fat and the fat burns your organs and bones, but it's all like, like the fat acts as a wick with your clothes right. and it just sits on you and burns because it's like liquid. napalm and like it, napalm. yeah it's like liquid you know you're, you're like a liquid candle at that point 
They have actually done experiments that have shown that this effect can actually produce a lot of the unusual characteristics associated with spontaneous human combustion, such as the complete or nearly complete incineration of the body and lack of fire damage to the victim's surroundings. Now, they tested this out mm-hmm. on pig skin, which obviously is the closest thing to us as you're going to get without using a cadaver, and that's just morally wrong. So eh, I'll um, take their word about it. Well... So I think it is. I don't. I don't agree. <laughs> Let's just set people's bodies on fire for ex- real, science. real quick. Here's a fact: Ooh. almost almost all postulated cases of SHC involve people with low mobility mm-hmm. due to advanced age or yep. obesity, along yep. with poor health. Victims show a high likelihood of having died in their sleep mm-hmm. or of having been unable to move once they had caught fire. Yes. Yes. I mean, that almost goes with the next thing that mm-hmm. they're stating about people smoking, having a yeah. heart attack or something and dropping yeah. it. Like, yep. that, the, cigarette that, the way that the reads to me. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. The way that reads to me is someone sitting there smoking, they're obese. They're just doing mm-hmm. one. They're one of those. Now, breathers, that, I, you know, I really feel just, like that obviously explains a lot of the recent ones, but it still yeah, doesn't and, explain. And they're just the countess. falling asleep wherever they're at, whether they're in mm-hmm. bed or sitting in a chair. And cigarette drops, and boom, now your clothes light on fire. But, I mean, it's still, like, you still have to have something flammable, more flammable inside Mm -hmm. you than what's already there. Like, highly flammable. Well, there are a couple of things that can, like, add to that. Diet Mm -hmm. actually is one of them. Not just alcohol, but, like, your diet in itself. Um, A lot of people who do, like, keto or um yeah ketosis uh people who do keto or people who are are, you know obviously ill and suffer from ketosis uh low carb dieting even uh produces a lot of acetone which is highly flammable and it could possibly build up in your system so given the right opportunity you have a heart attack you are smoking you pass catches you on fire and you are on a low carb diet or you're uh, do the keto diet because you're a diabetic perfect conditions it almost sounds like you would need that cigarette to fall and as i mentioned light yeah. your clothes on fire, fire. so you the wick have, effect so so you have more of something burning and mm-hmm. more of something burning for longer because it, mm-hmm. it, it feels to me like it's you're gonna need it's not just gonna be seeping out of your pores you're gonna need mm-hmm. For something to be burning for a while yep. to burn yep. enough off of you to uh, work its way inward, you know, yeah. to get yeah. to that. And when you're older, your skin whatever. is so much thinner, so it makes sense yeah. that it would happen to elderly people. Um, but yeah, again, that's that's exactly the wake effect. Uh, the FBI actually were the ones who figured like that all out and kind of came to that conclusion in regards to uh, Mary's case back in huh. uh, 51. Yep. Uh, okay. So uh, a lot of like samples of her surrounding area and her clothes was sent off to the FBI to be tested for any type of like accelerant to see if it was foul play and no accelerants were found. Uh, but like her her fat was found in the carpet, which, you know, obviously goes with the idea of like a melting candle per se. We basically become canned our own candle. <laughs> That's hmm. kind of a horrible way of putting it. But uh, pieces of her fat melted and dripped onto the floor, which, of course, uh, you know, is why some of it was burned on the floor and would have produced so much soot in the air. It all totally makes sense. So like, this is what they're talking about with the wick effect. It's a hypothesis. Mm-hmm. And they're saying that basically you have a small external flame source, such as, let's say, a burning cigarette. It mm-hmm. chars the clothing. Um, at a particular location where it drops, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Splitting, splitting the skin and releasing sub yes. subcutaneous fat, yes. which is in turn absorbed into the burned yes. clothing, acting as a wick. So mm-hmm. basically, your fat kind of starts melting into your clothing, mm-hmm. which is on mm-hmm. fire, and now boom, your clothing's mm-hmm. a wick, and it's just yeah. soaked soaking up that fat so Mm. the clothing and then also you have methane in your stomach which is another obviously flammable like you know gas so as soon as it gets into that part it's just like a continuation of the fire now like i said again this makes complete sense for the most recent like 18th 19th century and most recent 
happenings, but it sure still does not explain the poor countess randomly burning up in between her bed and the window, though. Like, I don't know. Could I mean, she, was need she more smoking? Detail. We don't know. I don't know. But need, need more detail. Her health, definitely. everything, you know. Yeah. But that one, that's the only one that's just like, this is a weird instance. But everything else makes sense huh. when you really think about it. it yeah, possible, mm-hmm. maybe. Um, the human body, it says, has enough stored energy and fat and other mm-hmm. chemicals, uh, other chemical stores to fully combust the body. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, protein also burns really well. The proteins like, yes. in our bodies. Yep. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's why like it's all, also it says the protein in the body also burns but provides less energy than fat. With the water in the body being the main impediment to combustion, however, slow combustion lasting for hours gives the water time to evaporate slowly. So that also kind of makes sense why it's it can uh-huh. happen even though we are seventy percent water. It's, we are literally steaming. Right. Well, they have a oh. good explanation for why the hands and feet typically don't yep. burn because there's no fat on it unless the hands are very resting little. on the stomach where yeah. you know all the fat and the methane gases. There's very little fat on people's feet and you know lower legs, but. Poor Mary was only 170 pounds. That is by no means <clears throat> obese. Oh, unless well, she, that's unless not you're true. like five foot tall. Unless that you're five not foot true. tall. Yeah, Woo! that's not true. Just because she's 170 Look. pounds doesn't mean she's not obese. Um, if you look at now, this is only going off, you know, the medical charts and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what it is right now. I'm sure they've changed things. Who knows? But there is a limit in of when someone's considered obese and it's <laughs> not as much as you would expect by any means. I mean, I've considered obese very low for my amount. size. Yeah. Yeah. You I'm could be obese. about, I, I want to say between 10 to 20 pounds over overweight. Mm. And once you hit that, it's like 10 or 15 pound mark or something. Um, very low. Um, you're considered obese. <laughs> Yeah, but are you? Am I? I see. I take offense to that because I am at that like ten pound marker over what I should yeah. be for my weight, and it's like I'm, I'm not obese. Now I was, I was pretty far over my actual like obese marker, uh, right. but like based on my BMI, I definitely was. But at this point, even though by weight I'm <clears throat> obese, by my BMI I am not. So yeah. I, it's that's a really fine line because one seventy is less than what I weigh. So if this lady was like anywhere near my height, I, I, I don't feel like she would have a lot of fat on her. But again, if she is old, so <sighs> maybe I just, mm. But I've also seen older women who are like ridiculously fit and ridiculously skinny. So without knowing what she looked like, I guess I can't really make judgment on that. Mm, yeah. I really can't. <laughs> Spontaneous human combustion. For the longest you time, it was considered. Oh, I sure do. Oh, oh man! Okay, because because I, I pulled some up. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, and they're probably the same pictures I was gonna send. Yeah. But yeah, no, go pull them up right ahead. I can, uh, yes, I can share it now. I don't know anyone Graphic out there watching. Graphic content not. warning. Yeah, but I don't I don't know the validity of these. If any of these are real cases or just BS, mm. um, we'll see. Let's let's go back up. Well, we have this guy cleaning up this woman. Apparently, I can't see um, there we go um that's not the woman i think oh. no 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 i'm just showing you some pictures that pop up when when we type this in right Oh, that foot that foot right there the third one from the beginning that that one is a diff that's not miss that's, mary that one is miss mary because that is her foot because that's all that was left was her foot and her shoe the hmm. other set of legs would have been a different case yeah i don't know man uh, I, I saw this one. Looks kind of interesting. I mean, Jesus. Uh, what could happen? Like, put spontaneous human combustion aside. Mm-hmm. How do you get to this point? <laughs> you Diet. Know, what, any Diet other explanation to, to where you could possibly... I don't know. That's just weird. People who obviously don't believe in this or like well if it's a thing how come it doesn't happen more often blah 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 
And it's like, yes, there's like 5 billion people on this planet, but you have to have like the absolute perfect conditions, the perfect lifestyle. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, that very, very small percentage of a percentage of people would actually meet. And that's even saying that the conditions are right for this to even happen with the people who meet these particular qualifications. So, yeah, of course, it's not going to happen more, but it is happening more recently. Like I said, there's mostly the 18th and 19th century. But again, that comes with the lifestyle and diet changes that are also associated with that. Yeah, and uh, Jesus. Yeah. I mean, it really sounds like it's not that it's maybe necessarily what we think it is, but Mm -hmm. something is happening, right? Just like this whole UAP thing Mm -hmm. that's been going on, right? We know for fact now something's happening. We just don't know what it is. We can conjecture all night long on what we think it is. Some yeah. people are going to say aliens. Other people are going to say uh, human technology, right? Same thing with with this. It sounds mm-hmm. like it's definitely something happening. Um, oh, yeah. But how they're finding the bodies, the manner in which these bodies are found is unexplainable. Yep. To, to the degree of burns or or bones or even just reduced to fragments i mean that almost that almost tells me not tells me but makes me think that what's the chance that once this process started happening while this person say was on fire that they did have the perfect storm in them and Mm -hmm. something was able to cause those bones to maybe explode right think about that if if those bones while this was happening in these gases or whatever, this acidic stuff, whatever's in there, um, what's the chance of those bones exploding? The reason I mentioned that is because you're still covered oh. with meat around it while it's all burning. That would mm. keep the fragments in and would explain the fragments well, versus true, whole yes. bones. Well, also your brain would cook and probably explode, which is why your brain, your skull would swell and then explode um, just because it's literally being cooked in the pressure inside. Mm-hmm. But also... Um, also have ran tests on like healthy bone versus bone that uh, is stricken with osteoporosis. And obviously when you have osteoporosis, your bone degrades and it, it becomes, it has like these little air pockets. And so it's very light right. and uh, very much like a pumice stone. Well, obviously that's going to burn better because of the air pockets and it being less dense. So that's another reason why, you know, it happens to a lot of elderly people, especially women, because women are more prone to getting osteoporosis when they're elderly. Mm-hmm. So it's, it all makes total sense. Like for the longest time, people are like, well, what the heck is going on? Like I didn't even know about their, I guess, official findings or official state on it until most recently. Because I was actually kind of obsessed with this when I was a kid, which looking back on it probably wasn't the healthiest thing. Mm-hmm. But there wasn't at, well, also the internet was in its like birth, so there wasn't the access to information that there is now. But so for the longest time, even to me, it was just like a mystery. Like, why is this happening? And to I'm sure a lot of people, you know, it is as well because no one's going to be like, "Hey guys, guess what we figured out?" <clears throat> right. You know, I, I look at those pictures. I'm I'm thinking it almost sounds like there wasn't a fire. It sounds like maybe this explosion inside them, chemical reaction maybe, and maybe their their meat bag of a body was enough to explode but not send it out everywhere. But clearly there's burn because they're finding ash. It makes me wonder if there's even even a flame of any type to start mm-hmm. this process. Well, some it people really have stated me like there's not. Some people have stated that they have seen um, a flame. Uh, there was an instance where a lady was on a bus in London and she saw a blue flame in a window. <laughs> and so she called uh, it was supposed to be like it was a hallway window of a building and she saw a blue flame. So she called the fire marshal, and when they got there, they found an incinerated body of a homeless man whose legs were obviously left behind. Another family said that they had watched their daughter go up in flames and was a victim of SHC. 
who knows? There may be flames or it may be an intern like it may be an external ignition, like a cigarette or something that burns mm-hmm. a- away in evidence, or yeah, it could be an implosion here's, from the inside. Here's another thing I have a problem with. Okay, and I I'll explain why. And mm-hmm. and I'm not discounting anything. I I, yeah. I don't know, but all these oh, things yeah. come to my mind now. Okay, so <clears throat> If this thing spontaneously combusts, and we're saying the bones don't combust, or or, I'm sorry, explode, the bones are reduced to fragments by Mm -hmm. fire, by Mm -hmm. heat, Mm -hmm. we're talking about an insane heat and long heat. 3,000 degrees. Okay. 3 to 4 hours. 3,000 degrees. Yep. That's what what requires to cremate a body. So, well. (laughs) The things I've learned from, you know, researching. So you have to remember that's very hot, three thousand oh, degrees. Yeah. So, think? so why is in these cases the why are the homes not burned down? Here's where I'm going that's with that. The main question. Well, yeah, and here's 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 the problem with this. Um, look at lithium batteries in these electric cars. We'll take mm-hmm. a Tesla, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a recent article in the last couple of weeks I read um, had to do with, there was a car fire. It was a electric car. Um, something happened where the batteries in there, which are lithium batteries, just boom, they got too hot. They burst into flames. And the statement, the quote from the fireman, fire marshal, whoever the hell it was that made the statement, but they were part of the fire department. They had said, these things burn so hot, they said, we only have two choices on what we can do. He said, we either let it burn. Mm -hmm. For instance, if the car's out in the middle of a street, they're probably just going to let the goddamn thing burn, make sure it doesn't spread anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, Or they said, the only other thing we can do is try to cool the battery. They said, this is a chemical reaction. Mm -hmm that's causing this water mm-hmm. we can't put it out yeah it's, it's the same so thing as like a grease fire out. you gotta right yeah. so imagine a tesla in your garage and you just went racing around town on a 105 degree day and that mm. battery is super hot you get home and you immediately plug it into your fast charger because you 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 splurged for the fast charger on this thing so now the battery isn't even getting a chance to cool down it's going yep. straight onto the electricity yep. and boom, it combusts. Now you have this insane mm-hmm. fire. Mm-hmm. You you know how quick mm-hmm. your garage is going to start to go up. Psh, like on. you're going to have other things burning. So mm-hmm. how are these people? It, it, it It's apparent because there's ash that mm-hmm. there is fire involved. And mm-hmm. if we are actually really talking about 3000 degree temperatures there's no way in hell Mm-mm. nothing else is going to be burned there's uh, other than mm-hmm. the immediate area there's no way these houses aren't burning down that's why i kind of refer to it us as like candles earlier because that's how i i th- i think it happens because again 3000 yeah, degrees but that's not gonna it, burn at 3000 degrees no but it is a long slow combustion that's not gonna reduce bone to fragments Unless it's, they explode, uh, that, well, you need the heat. Yep. My, uh, you know, I know someone whose uh, mother died. They have mm-hmm. the ashes, and they knew nothing about the process. They have been urn. They said when they got them, they've looked at them. They said there's actually bone fragments Chunks, yeah. in there, mm-hmm. and and it still stinks, <laughs> right? Uh, so that's at a I professional crematorium. <laughs> That's at a professional crematorium. That's what they're and calling it, like the the wick, the- like the wick theory, where you know it's essentially. Yeah, but it has to burn hot enough. There's no way that's burning at three thousand degrees. If that's burning at three thousand degrees, there's no way nothing else is lighting on fire. Like not every mm-hmm. single one of these cases, it, the person is. There's no way, the people in every single case are somewhere where nothing else can catch on fire. There's no way in hell. So a lot of the cases, it's just the body. And it is like even like noted in the reports that like other than say like a T that's why I said like a TV screen, uh, uh, it's been reported in a couple of them, like where the TV screen melted uh, or like plastic, like decorations melted, but 
paint on the walls weren't peeled or chipped or bubbled from the heat right. and other like uh, matches that were sitting next to somebody didn't even, you know, catch on fire or the stack what? of newspapers sitting next to them didn't like, catch on fire. These are in literal official police reports that it's yeah. just the body and nothing else around it, even though the house is covered in soot and like, greasy little grime. Well, because, from well, smoke fat. and everything. Yeah. yeah. What's burning? burning yeah, fat. Of yeah. But other than that, nothing is on fire. Nothing burned. Just the body and the immediate area. <sighs> I'm so flabbergasted and I have this response to it. The reason why is not because I don't believe it. Like it <laughs> there's clearly something happening. Yeah. But it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like but it it's does, clear but it's it does true. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear something's happening. Mm -hmm. But the the only other explanation to me is that it's not actually going at 3,000 degrees. Mm -hmm. These bone fragments are maybe happening, and uh, this is no pun intended. I'm not, this isn't because of the Titan submersible. But I wonder, is there any instance where you can make bone implode rather than explode? Maybe if you have those extra air pockets, like you said, from osteoporosis. Is there, is it possible that if the body, let's say all my rib bones, mm-hmm. let's say the osteoporosis I had, I, I, I don't know how, anything about osteoporosis, so I'm just giving you a bullshit mm-hmm. example to make this clear. Let's say I had it really bad through every bone in my rib cage and they were just filled with air pockets, like mm-hmm. probably, let's say, one of the worst a doctor's ever seen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's say I was smoking a cigarette in bed because this is 1940s and i fell asleep and dropped it on my fat ass stomach and my clothes Mm -hmm. lit fire and i drank a ton of alcohol i had all the right conditions in me that would cause some type of flammability internally Mm -hmm. and clothes catch fire eventually my skin's drying out it's going to start lighting on fire and tearing apart and it hits that right spot with those gases and it kind of just Foop, like a flash inside, right? Because it just mm-hmm. all immediately ignites wherever this gaseous material, whatever is. Mm-hmm. What's the chance of that, the heat from that or anything affecting those osteoporosis bones, my rib cage? Not too sure. That are the worst condition mankind's ever seen in them imploding. Because you need the air in I'm there not, to implode. I'm not, sure. I'm not too sure about that. But again, they have done like flesh testing, like experiments where using pig skin they basically recreated yes. the exact same thing that happened using whatever parameters they had but so it is interesting it is very interesting like i completely understand the science behind it but at the same time there are a couple of those things extra things that are like hmm like because even in this hmm. experiments, they didn't like it. Sh- it burned just like the flesh and the clothes, but not like anything around it. But then again, I still don't understand how you can be that close to fire for an extended amount of time, <sighs> being a stack of newspapers or a, a box of matches, and not catch when the TV screen twelve feet away melted. I don't know. I just feel like if the ba- uh, matches would eventually like strike from heat, maybe I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, I, who knows? I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, but hey, yeah, no, it's it's very interesting to read the reports. Uh, I I I'm just <laughs> kind of at a loss for words because it sounds like this is something is happening. Mm. It's a matter of what it is, but uh, I mean, I just don't see it burning hot enough your body alone mm. without like some type of fuel. I don't see it burning hot enough to reduce your those fat bones. is the fuel. Literally. No, you no, are no, a no, no. But I don't see that burning hot enough to reduce your bones. I don't know. If quickly. It's, I, that's the thing. I don't know if, if at a lower temperature, if it burns longer, because again, osteoporosis, obviously the bones deteriorate a lot quicker. Uh, so, like, I don't know. The experiments basically, like, set up the perfect conditions and they showed, like, yeah, this is what would happen. <clears throat> but how the I'm fire wondering started. If, if you have the I osteoporosis, guess. if this is just a constant burn and it's heating up that bone, That's right? Heating I'm up thinking. those air pockets. And you might have, like, super tiny, like, poof 
like explosions in there, which is just cracking that's, the bone. That's what I'm apart, thinking. Maybe? That's really what I'm thinking. That is just not like a quick, fast burn. It's a long, slow, like barbecue style. I hate to say it like that, but <laughs> damn it. Like barbecue style, like low and slow, baby. Low and slow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, who's okay. So the thing with bring up barbecue because um, the landlord for poor Mary, uh, the cinder woman, she smelled something burning uh, around like 6 a.m. And she like, didn't think anything of it until she still smelled that same burning smell around eight. And it was like, so obviously it didn't smell like a body burning. So did it smell like a barbecue? Did it smell like she was cooking bacon and you just like well, passed it off? You're like, also what not going to of- know. You, you don't know what a body burning smells like yeah. until you well, smell one. And then you smell mm, your I second don't. one. Then, you know, I, don't think I, I could I could go burn a body right now if you've never smelled it. You're not going to know for a fact I that's don't a burning think body. It's, it would smell any form of bacon or barbecue ish, but I mean, like I didn't for this say lady, it would. I'm sure it's I know, but horrible for this lady and a completely to ignore it. Smell. I mean, it's just a, I don't know. But then she tried to yeah, like, I, I mean, guess, like touch the door handle, the and it was yeah, like I just that's a bad landlady. Personally, <laughs> like it took you two hours to be like, mm, something knows? might be wrong. <sighs> Who but, knows I mean, where she they was live, the area at they're point, in, so. and and yeah. what they're used to, you know. But she was already gone by that point, so it wouldn't really have mattered. Yeah. But yeah, um, but yeah, barbecue, uh, low and slow. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know mm. a burning body stinks. <clears throat> I've never smelled one. I don't know that I would particularly know if I did smell one, unless you told I, me that's what mm, it was. I would never. I, ha- I have. I have a sure, very good idea of what it would smell like, and I'm yeah, good. I'm sure on my second one, I'd know because <laughs> you know from the first, but. I, uh, I, hey. mm, yeah. So there was a, uh, a bar that I used to go to back in the day and they had a, uh, like a little patio outside and a raccoon got caught under it and died. And the smell of that was absolutely horrendous in the middle of summer. And I could only imagine yeah. that a burning body would be somewhat similar to that. And there is no mistaking that smell for death. So, yeah. I don't know. Death yeah. and burning are two different things. But, like human bodies are gross. It's like we have all those gases and the chemicals uh, and the food in our stomachs. Like I'm just sure it would, maybe we do smell like barbecue. Who knows? Only a cannibal. Who would knows? Know. A cannibal Who knows? would know. <laughs> uh, that's if they cook their bodies. <laughs> I would hope they cook <laughs> us. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, we should ask. <laughs> Never know. No, 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 no. Hey, uh, you want to be a guest? Uh, yeah, hey, look, come here we can uh, video us. chat. <laughs> video chat. Let someone else do the like work. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, it, it would be interesting to talk to someone, but yeah, uh, but so yeah, spontaneous ooh. human combustion. That that's what I bring to the table tonight. I feel like just an FYI. I mm-hmm. am reading here. It. This article does state, it says, however, where the destruction was extensive, additional fuel sources were involved, such as chair stuffing, floor coverings, the floor itself, mm-hmm. and the and the like. Um, yes. Now, but the, the investigators same time. Dis- uh-huh. Go ahead. The investigators described how such materials helped to retain the melted fat, Mm -hmm. which caused more of the body to be burned Mm -hmm. and destroyed, Mm -hmm. yielding still more liquid fat in a a cyclic uh, process known as, obviously you said, the wick effect. Uh, You know, I'm I'm not... But that's not not every case. That's not every case. I'm not seeing much in here about bones. I'm not seeing too much being described in here about bones. If... uh, Mm. Oh... Well, they they do talk about bones, uh, osteoporotic mm. bones, um, mm. but but they're only talking about discoloration, uh, greater degree of fragmentation than mm-hmm. healthy ones, um, blah blah blah. I'm not. Other than that, I'm not seeing much on I'll bones send you the and articles. how they've been. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll send I you mean, the articles I, that I was reading yeah. in which they stated like the bones were cremated. Yeah, mm. I mean, I, I believe it. Yeah. Um, it's just like, how, man? 
I mean, they they hope, say how, but is that really how? Like, I, I hope it's I, pretty I, quick. I believe it. I mean, I don't. I don't think. Obviously, based on the fact that their legs were still there, they yeah. were clearly not aware that they were on fire. Well, I'm sure they were aware. They probably fell to the mm. ground and like ah, you know. But who knows? I mean. Mm. Who knows? You douse someone with gasoline and light them on fire, they light up their entire body immediately, right? Because mm-hmm. it's all gasoline. But they know they're on fire. They're not mm-hmm. dead yet, you know? I, I mm-hmm. hope this is quick for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the but the, like, just back to Mary, though, like, her foot was found by the chair she always, like, fell asleep in. So that showed that, like, she had not tried to get up to, like, put flames out well it, it, yeah sounds to me yeah. like she was probably maybe asleep or something mm-hmm. smoking mm-hmm. whatever uh, yeah probably i'm sure and, a lot of the cases they were either like s- knocked out because here's the thing yeah she had actually told her son that she was taking uh, a couple of pills now these pills were used to relax patients before like i guess getting like certain surgeries or like procedures done not so much surgeries but procedures they were okay. relaxers so she had told her son was apparently a physician uh so she told her son that he that she was taking two of them and she was going to take two more before bed so she literally was so far knocked out on muscle relaxers that i don't think her body could have been like yo we're on fire but that's just her case. Well, I mean, Other cases, they could have been intoxicated or they could have had a heart attack or they could yeah. have been, you know, it still incapable doesn't kill of your getting nerves. up. You know, you still are going to feel. It's just yeah. a matter of what, to what extent mm-hmm. is the damage at the point you realize it, meaning maybe yeah. wake up or something. Yeah, you might to not be you able to. Or, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I mean, I'm assuming as like your skin burns and like your body goes into shock it like <clears throat> you know i can only it really Ugh. sounds like the body's actually combusting um mm. well i'm sorry not combusting but um there's some type of internal failure like boom an explosion because if you're talking about spontaneous human combustion mm-hmm. you're probably going to have a quick boom, you know like if you mm-hmm. if you take a lighter you know, you don't light it, but you hold the little button down that lets, yeah. releases the gas, All right? the gas, yeah. You hold it, you know, you do it in a glass, right? Mm-hmm. Just and then you flick it. In. Hold it, hold yeah. it in there, leave it, leave it, leave it. And the gas is heavy. It kind of sits in there. And then you take a thing and, mm-hmm. you know, match or a lighter and light it. And it just, boom, real quick. Yeah. Well, imagine if that was enclosed, air pockets, yeah. uh, chemical mm-hmm. pockets, whatever inside you. Um, it sounds like. There has to be some type of internal explosion, even if very small, mm-hmm. that's going to render you basically useless. Again, yeah, because people... you, you'd expect these people to be like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm on fire, ah, you know, running around, probably not being able to comprehend what to do. But mm-hmm. you know, you'd be seeing that, I would think, if if there wasn't some type of internal explosion, minor explosion mm-hmm. sounds big, but. Yeah, it's just, it's strange because, you know. like, one lady was found in her kitchen. The other one was found, like, a gentleman was found in her his bed. Like, they're found in places in which would be normal for a human to be, like, laying. And, like, I, I don't know if they're like, oh, I'm on fire. Oh, dramatic fall. Like, they're just, they're found in positions in which they like regu- like regular so i don't know yeah i really don't know but yeah it's just it's interesting that's interesting yeah huh <laughs> very interesting i i don't know i've said what i've said <laughs> I, like <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's kind of it, that's what really makes you think mm-hmm. it's real but it's completely unknown mm-hmm. you know Oh, Jesus. We'll, we'll probably have a better chance of figuring out what these UAPs are before we uh, figure out w- w- what spontaneous human combustion yeah. really is. And it sounds like the term, if they ever do figure it out, the term will probably change if they find out, well, because spontaneous human combustion it would probably means a very specific combustion. thing. Mm-hmm. 
it means something very specific. Well, it's spontaneous, human- whether it lasts, you know, a second or six hours. Like, it came out of nowhere spontaneous. Yeah. But human combustion would be more of an accurate yeah. saying for it. Because it, well, it, I'm just it saying, is still if, spontaneous, if they- but... If they ever figure it out, they'll probably change the you know what it's called. I, when I still like some more human accuracy combustion. on what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I like human yeah. combustion. I'll never not oh. call it that. Clearly, it's a real thing. Yeah. yeah. Just remember that if you've had some uh, Don't plastic drink. surgeries done and you got a bunch of silicone in your chest, that stuff might Ooh, melt. You're gonna be a dual flame. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I don't know how combustible that is, but uh, I'm pretty sure silicone burns. Hopefully they just come out as candles right here. I, I'm assuming that it would be like just two birthday candles on a cake right there. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, okay. it, it all burns the same and like, yes, yeah, silicone does This burn. is how yeah. we know when we need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we can make some meme, some TikTok memes here, but uh, <laughs> hey, the Titan memes—they've slowed down. It's like every three or four TikTok scrolls when you mm. see it now, rather than every other <laughs> scroll. <laughs> yeah, Anthony was saying that uh, 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 Instagram puts us like every other one for him right now. <laughs> and it's like, well, just like it, like it, comment, uh, share, man. subscribe, hit that bell. Mm. Yeah. Yes, please do. <laughs> Shoot us an email too. Mm-hmm. Uh, obscuredr1 at gmail.com if you have a personal story of your own, something that's obscure. Mm-hmm. You don't know what obscure means? Google it. Simple. Uh, think along the lines. UAPs, UFOs, aliens, abductions, alien abductions. Um, uh, you Cryptozoology, know. lost civilizations. Yep. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything, you know. Anything, yeah. uh, hit us up. And we will share your story on here. Uh, mm-hmm. If you're willing to come on and tell your own story, oh, we're okay with that. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Yes, we can. We pay for that. So <laughs> make it worth it for <laughs> us. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not a joke. We, we, if you want to mm-hmm. be on, call in audio only, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. video and audio, up to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. All right. Well, I'm probably going to go combust in the shower and then combust again in my bed. And I'm going to just go combust straight by to the that, bed. <laughs> by that, <laughs> I just realized probably meant something different to everyone. Uh, me so that. I'm just going to like combust as I'm going to explode <laughs> when I jump into my bed and hit the pillow and just yep. be done. I'm going to ex- yeah. combust into sleep. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am done all right i'm gonna cool. do a little bakugo action for those who understand anime another anime hit for y'all it's <laughs> gonna go bakugo <laughs> into my bed and on that i should uh, probably log off because i'm making too many anime comments now <laughs> hey is uh, what it is yeah. and with that yawn i think we're gonna call it a wrap <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll catch you guys Bye. next time peace thanks for watching be sure to check back with us often for new episodes Feel free to drop a comment, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Obscured Reality.